Welcome back to Mastering Django Web Development by Pact Publishing. In this section, we're going to learn about the security features that Django provides by default, basic security features that you can start using right now, different security methods for dealing with CSRF and XSS attacks, as well as how to plan for a security failure. In this video specifically, we're going to take a look at built-in security for cross-site scripting, also known as XSS, cross-site request forgery, also known as CSRF or CSRF, SQL injection, support for HTTPS and TLS, as well as secure password storage. Cross-site scripting, also known as XSS, enables users to inject client-side scripts into a web page that's viewed by other users. This usually takes the form of injecting CSS or JavaScript into a form. Django helps by automatically escaping data that's dynamically inserted into templates. That means if you have a form on your site that accepts data from a user and displays it somewhere else, you don't have to worry about them inserting JavaScript or HTML onto your page to be executed later. Django will automatically escape that and show it as plain text. Cross-site request forgery, also known as CSER, has been a problem that's pretty hard to get around. Django hopes by providing a built-in CSRF token tag that you can use on any template, as well as a CSRF token cookie. By using these template tags or cookies inside of your forms, you can validate that the form or the page that you're accepting data from is in fact one from Django, and is not something that's being spoofed by a hacker or some other attacker. SQL injection. SQL injection is another issue that a lot of languages fall victim to. Luckily, Django helps out by providing an ORM. As long as you use the ORM and avoid the raw and extra methods, you really don't need to worry about SQL injection. Django will automatically escape any kind of values that you pass into your ORM through any other method besides raw and extra. Raw and extra are also okay to use as long as you're cognizant of the risk that these two methods imply. Support for HTTPS and TLS. In this day and age, most everyone should be using HTTPS. Luckily, Django helps by providing multiple different methods to force HTTPS on your users. You can use the secure underscore SSL underscore redirect to force any users that come to your site via HTTP to upgrade to HTTPS. Likewise, if you need to worry about sensitive data in your cookies, you can use session cookie secure and CSRF cookie secure to secure your cookies and post requests. This will make sure that everything coming through your Django site is run through HTTPS and you don't have to worry about people sniffing out any information. Secure password storage. This is a topic that's been covered in depth by American media this year. It seems like every day we're hearing about another issue where some company lost usernames and passwords and you have to go in and reset yours. Luckily, Django helps us get around this. Django never stores any passwords in plain text in its system. Django also provides a flexible password storage system that's completely customizable that you can change at any point just by editing your settings file. Django also uses the powerful PBKDF2 algorithm, as well as an SHA-256 hash on all passwords. This is recommended by the NIST. Of course, this is just a brief overview of all of the security features that Django provides. Django provides many more features that you can learn about through reading the Django docs. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time to go over everything. 